And I want you for the next few minutes to permit me to speak to you on a very simple thing. And that theme tonight is from politicking to nation building. I don't know about you, but there is no Liberian community I've visited, whether in Europe, in the United States, in Canada, or even on the African continent, that the order of the day is not politicking. And many of you know that, that our version of politicking has become one where we do good at castigating ourselves and only talking about our problems, but not about the things that we do well. In fact, when we talk about ourselves, we talk about ourselves in comparison to others, right? We say, look at the Nigerians, look at the Ghanaians, look at the Jamaicans. But I want to tell you something tonight, that anyone who's gone through close to 20 years of civil war, and then Ebola, and then poverty, and then everything else I wouldn't name, show me your resume before you compare yourself to me. Because our story is different, it's unique and it is only ours. And the moment we can start to embrace it in its totality, the ugly part of it, the not so pleasant part of it, but also the good parts of it, the sooner we will begin to realize that we've got everything it takes, not to just change our lives here, but to change Liberia for what it should be. We spend all of our time talking about the things we don't have. And we spend so little talking about the things that we've got. From 2019 to now, this community has raised over $300,000 despite COVID. We've spent close to $40,000 in Liberia. When COVID was raging, while we were dealing with the difficulties here, we were able to say, regardless of what we're dealing with, we could extend our hands back home. And the reason I'm saying tonight we need to focus and move from politics into nation building is because politics is for the lifespan of someone's presidency. Right? And you don't need to like Leo. Because guess what? Two years will come by and go and Leo will be gone. I will not be the president of this community. Somebody else will be. So, politicking is the, is the duration of someone's presidency. And then I'll take it by extension to Liberia. Our young people, militants, who tell our young people the only good you can be is to wear armored boots and khaki pants and sing jargons around Monrovia. Let me take it a, a bit deeper. I mean, Canada, the reason young people join political parties is because they are being taught to be the next best writers, the next best speakers. Debaters, policy wants. You need it. That's why you join political parties because you get access to people of the quality you would never get access to if you were not there. But think about it today. In our country, uniformly, all of our political parties, our young people, are only good enough to be elected. So I'm saying this to everybody tonight because even in our community here, when Mr. Hina becomes president, the people who like him work as seriously. The people who don't like him decide they will do everything to make his life difficult. Yeah. When Leo becomes president, the people who like Leo work as serious. The people who don't like him decide they will do everything to make his life difficult. Let me break the news to you. You're not doing it to me. You are destroying the future of your children. Yeah. And the reason I'm saying you are destroying the future of your children is because in our community, very few places our children can look to see the example of excellence. Let's be honest about it. Very few places. And it is not because we don't have people in the community who can do better. Yeah. It is because we've gotten so used to failure that we are uncomfortable when we see success. Yeah. It's because we have gotten so used to mediocrity that when someone raises the bar, we feel offended only because the token won't step high. Yeah. So I've come to say to you today, brothers and sisters, that the process of nation building is the process where we must commit that we will do the work regardless of who's in power. We will work around you, we'll work through you, we'll work behind you, we will get it done. And if you can do it for yourself, do it for your son. Do it for your daughter. Do it for your niece. Do it for your nephew. Because don't be so selfish that only because you've lost what you've lost in your generation that you want to guarantee that your children will also lose it too. So I want to thank all of you tonight, those of you who have supported, 
Those of you who have been skeptical and sitting on the fence, I can promise you one thing. We shall not wait for you. When you come, we will open our arms and welcome you. If you don't come, the process of nation building does not wait for anyone. It continues regardless of who's there or not. What a message. So I thank you for your support, but I want to encourage you all, my people, we can do better. The Liberian diaspora has been known for only reacting to things. When there's Ebola, then we all collect money and send continent to Liberia. When we let the government are in power, we all work hard to destabilize the country to remove it. Let's change the approach to be more proactive. We've fought in our country so much that we've destroyed everything. There's nothing left to destroy. You look in our community and when you see one medical doctor, people think the person made voodoo. When you see one person with engineering degree, we think the person made, made voodoo. When our children graduate from high school, we celebrate to the point as if it's not the norm in this country. And it's the truth. And I'm not saying don't celebrate your children when they graduate from high school, but don't celebrate them because you are so surprised that they managed to finish. It is supposed to be expected that they will do well. And I will close by speaking about our young people. Our community has done a terrible job. We've neglected them across this country. Yeah. We have. Yeah. You see up tonight, when we want to have party, we will do whatever it takes to make it happen, even if the time is short. But the moment we say, let's do something for our young people, and need proper planning. And you know, we need to push it down the road here. And you know, how much will it take? We gave all the excuses only because we are not willing to take the steps that are required. And I've made a commitment. Some of you were in meetings that are setting. Anytime we're having a party in this place, if it is not too prone, where the children own a party happening just as our own happening, forget it, we're not happy. The simple way we can find the money from to spend for hours, let's find the money to spend for the kids. If you won't fire me because of that, please have a field day. And with that, I want to inform everybody that we need to move from politicking to nation building because politicking only tears down, but nation building builds us up. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>